Two obstacles face deep learning super resolution in real time. We present solutions to both. First, deep learning super resolution methods do not generalize well to real world images. For example, given an arbitrary input, a state of the art method produces an output that is not sharper than naive by cubic upscaling. Our result is substantially sharper. We achieve this with a novel procedure for synthesizing image pairs for training the model. The second hurdle is the high computational cost, prohibiting deployment on low power devices such as cell phones and tablets. We present a novel architecture which reduces this cost by more than an order of magnitude. The common practice for generating training data for super resolution is to obtain natural images and downscale them. These image pairs are used to train the model. The CNN is trained to undo the downscaling. When trying to upscale a general natural image that does not reside in the subset, the model is at a loss. Recent techniques attempt to improve on this, but all are ill-suited for real-time application. We synthesize image pairs by emulating image capture in digital cameras, wherein the scene is projected onto the sensor via a lens. This process is characterized by the lens PSF, which is scaled according to the sensor's pixel density. To simulate image capture, we obtain a large digital image. We stretch the PSF by a factor S and use this convolution kernel to produce a blurred version of the image that we then decimate by the same factor. The result is an image downscaled by the factor S that looks as if it was captured with a camera with the PSF used. Adding detail to the simulation improves results. To produce image pairs, we perform the capture simulation twice, once with factor S and the second time with factor S times R. We get two representations of the scene at different scales with ratio R between them. Both images appear to have been captured by a camera with the same PSF. Now we can train the model to super resolve images captured by the camera described by this PSF. By generating pairs with a variety of PSFs, we can train a model that will work on any natural image. We now describe our architecture for performing video super resolution in real time. Video processing is sensitive to the statistical properties of the input. In super resolution, it is well established that performance is highly dependent on the PSF when capturing the video. We hypothesize that common CNN topologies employ their large receptive field and capacity to implicitly estimate signal statistics. This is highly inefficient as there is no need to estimate these parameters for every pixel. We estimate statistics explicitly and then use them to adapt the processing. The input image is fed into a statistics encoder CNN whose output are global properties of the frame. For super resolution, this is mainly an encoding of the PSF deduced from the typical edge profiles visible in the image. The statistics are fed into a weight generator whose outputs are weights and biases for a small CNN which is used to process the video frame. We divide the system into a control flow and a pixel flow. Since in a video stream the global statistics are temporarily stable, evolving very slowly, we trigger the control flow at a far lower rate than the frame rate of the video. In addition, since processing is tailored to the specific input, it can be achieved by a very low capacity CNN. Thus, processing uses local features only, but they are configured according to the global information provided by the statistics encoder. The entire system can be trained end-to-end. -end. Comparing to common solutions, we consume less than 3% of the resources.